Elder Scrolls V is a single-player RPG that takes place in the province of Skyrim, as said in the game's title. The original game was released in 2011 and has a total of three DLC. However, a remastered version of the game has been recently released, re-sparking many people's interest. You start by creating your character. The game's in-depth settings allow extreme customization for in-game appearances by the use of sliders. You can also choose a race to play as, buffing your character in some way. Once your character is finished, you're taken through a basic tutorial that sets the stage for the game's story and provides basic equipment. Afterwards, you're released into the vast world of Skyrim to do as you please. Many people typically follow the main storyline, which lasts an average of 30 hours. Those who try to beat all side quests along with the main story end up playing for over 200 hours. When it comes to the game's level progression, the Elder Scrolls typically has the same setup as its predecessors. The game includes 18 skills that increase in level as they are practiced. These skills increase in level and eventually cause your character's overall level to increase, granting you a skill point. The skill points in the game allow you to unlock perks in a specific skill, buffing that skill permanently. A total of 254 perks can be obtained in the game, many requiring multiple points to actually max out. There are three main playstyles the game offers, which are Mage, Warrior, and Archer. Each playstyle has their own advantages and disadvantages. These playstyles dictate the equipment, consumables, and skills that will ultimately be used, with few skills being neutral. With combat centralized through most of the game, it would need to be fun and interesting. Skyrim's combat is usually the same in many instances, and can eventually get boring and tedious. With archery and magic, enemy AI can easily be taken advantage of, simply by running through rugged terrain. The AI aren't able to jump or climb obstacles, and are only able to walk through their targets, making them poorly designed in certain instances. Skyrim is also very easy to mod. Simply placing files or downloading a mod manager will allow you to add more content to the game. However, mods can jeopardize the stability of your game, and require a clean character restart for most to run properly. Overall, Skyrim has been praised as an amazing game that many can easily dig into. Since the statement is true, it's recommended to many people looking for a casual experience to try it. The base game costs $20 while the special edition costs $40, making them good purchases based on how long it takes to beat as well as their replayability. The special edition gives 3 DLC and also gives you the remastered version of the game, buffing its graphics and giving it a more of a modernized feeling.